Hey there guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave, episode 3. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my own man cave, because I figure, you know, why not? Uh, I've already done a couple of uh, episodes already, and uh, just kind of showcasing what I have in my man cave. And I thought, well, I might as well show off the whole man cave, uh, just as uh, an introductory as well, because... Uh, you know, it's, it's good to just kind of get it all out of the way, and then I can kind of focus on the other little things. So, the reason why I'm doing a Man Cave episode is because, uh, well, first of all, I'm with the mancavecinema.ca, awesome website, you should check it out. Uh, we showcase, uh, one, one thing that we actually showcase that's really good is uh, uh, we have a site, uh, sorry, a, a section of our site dedicated to Man Caves. And uh, I go through it every once in a while, just to get inspiration, and it seems to be a very popular part of our site. So what I thought was, you know, I should check it out and uh, compare it to what I could build in my own man cave. And, and uh, you know, that, that's what it's for, really, just to get the inspiration. Now, the problem is that you see some of these setups and you're like, holy shit, I can't afford that. That Like, this guy has, like, you know, wall-to-wall -wall shelving. He, he's, you know, they, they look like they get some kind of, uh, I don't know, carpenter in there and actually, re like, build it. Or um, maybe it's like a full-on home theater that uh, they have, like, all the bells and whistles. And I thought, well, not all of us are going to have that, okay? So, whatever. That doesn't mean I can't have my own man cave the way I want it. And so what I did was I, I literally uh, just scrounged around. I, I, first of all, did a full cleanup of the basement because mine's in the basement. Some people actually have it in a dedicated room or in their attic, wherever they have it. Uh, but I decided to have mine in, in, in the basement area, and uh, so I thought, well, what do I have around the house that can work? And so I started to look at some of the, uh, you know, different pieces of furniture, and I, and I started to think about the, the different kinds that I might need to buy that, to, you know, nothing expensive, to, nothing really, you know, uh, overly flashy, just, just something to make it work, something I could display my stuff, because I realized I have a lot of stuff that I like to, to collect. I, I, I like to collect Transformers. I like to, to play video games. So I figure, I, I guess this is mostly going to be a video game man cave. Uh, and then I could put out my Transformers that I've had away in boxes or just been sitting out and getting all dusty and stuff. And I thought, now it's a good chance to pull that stuff out because, you know, they, there's so many so many great uh, memories and, uh, of these toys from my, from my uh, childhood that and I just love to keep it on display and look at it. I mean, that's why we buy this stuff, right? We don't buy it to stick it in a box and, and uh, forget about it. So, uh, on to the man cave. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the shelving that I have and, and where I got it from. So, over here we have the uh, Atari section, what I like to call mainly the, the Atari section. It's the, uh, the video games that I've collected throughout the years. And let's just say that this is getting trickier and trickier. I don't know if this is because uh, where I live in Canada, Ontario, this stuff's depleting or, or people are, are putting them away and they're not letting go. I don't know. But they're getting harder and harder and more expensive to get. I, I'm almost having to go to eBay all the time. But uh, yeah, so I've, I've, I've amassed this collection and uh, some of it used to be from thrift stores too, believe it or not. And uh, I know and I'm, I'm seeing all these posts in, in, the, in the States and people are constantly going to the thrift stores and finding these things still. But I just had no luck in the last like two years. <laughs> Seriously, I've gone into lots of thrift stores and and nothing like, no, oh well. But anyways, I got all these great games that um, I, I like to to have out because I used to put them in a box and and then I'd have like three or four boxes and I'd sift through them and I had a carrying case and, and I thought it'd be cool to have them on display and then uh, if I want to play one, I just look at the you know just go up and down and just be like yeah that one. And then, uh, so, yeah, so this, and this piece of furniture, I found it. It was, uh, somebody had it out for a garage sale, and, uh, I, I almost bought it. I was, I was considering it. And then the next morning I got up, and they obviously didn't sell it, and it was sitting on the curb. So I'm like, eh, mine, you know. <laughs> so, and, and uh, I don't, I'm not ashamed of that. I mean, it's a good piece of furniture. It's not like it's junk, it's garbage, or anything like that. That was my first thought, like, Maybe it's garbage, but I went and I inspected it. I'm like, okay, the shelvings are off, but I can put those back. It needs a little cleaning. Hey, it's a sh it's a free shelf. Why not? So over to here we have the um, well. Th what you're looking at is actually a coffee table, and we had it in our basement for a while. Ever since we got a different coffee table for our living room, 
And it's got these little cubby holes. And I thought, what could I use that for? I want to display my consoles. Maybe that'll work. And so my first test was, could this thing actually stand on top of this other desk that I had here already previously and, and not pretty much collapse in and of itself? So I, I kind of took the gamble. I, I did the measurements before I, I went to actually you know clean it all off and lift it, put it on there. So I did that. And uh, I, you know I kind of did that that slow dropping it down, back away, wait for it to collapse and just like just bust everything. And I was like, okay, it passed that test. So I tapped on it a bit. I'm like, okay, it looks like it's it's handling some weight. And I thought, okay, well, let's put a few things in. And again, I stood back. I'm like, it's gonna break. I'm like, nope, didn't break. So I, I kind of got lucky. It, it it it's it stands up pretty. But please don't break. It stands up pretty uh pretty fine. So yeah. Um, so I thought uh, this is perfect. So now I got these cubby holes. Uh, unfortunately, I have way more consoles than I have cubby holes. So <laughs> so I'm gonna have to. Uh, just kind of decide which ones I want to keep in there so I really just uh, put my favorite ones or the ones that I had out are all ready to go um, the one I didn't put out is my trusty Atari 2600 um, that is a uh, fairly new uh, well it's not new it's, it's new for me uh, that I got from uh, from a guy from Atari age which uh, I'm really thankful for um, and I have my in uh, main television right beside it uh, so, you know, I keep those two out for now because th those are the ones I'm playing. Other than that, they, the rest of them just kind of uh, stowed away in a nice little cubby with their wires and stuff. And it, it's, a, it's a good place. And then on top of that, I got a, you know, I got that shelf. So now I can put uh, my toys, I can put my Transformers, I can put my DeLorean collection. So I thought, hey, this is working out nicely, you know. And, and again, I'm not spending any money here. I'm just using what I already had in the house and just, you know, finding ways to uh, make it work. So then over here, okay, this shelf, I have to do something about it. This is, uh, it's got old stuff in it. It's got books and binders and stuff. And I just got to find a, a, a box or something, just to stack it all the way. Because this could definitely be utilized much better than the way it is now. But anyways, on top, I got the uh, Transformers again. As you can see, I got lots of Transformers. I, I got way more than this. They're, they're just in boxes and boxes and boxes. They'll never fit in this little space. Um, so then over here I got a, a, another shelf. That, now this one I actually bought at uh, at the Walmart and it was like 30 bucks. I'm like, you know, it's a bookshelf. It'll fit. So I'm sure everything's not colored properly and uh, this doesn't have a woman's touch, but you know, it's a man cave. <laughs> so uh, I'm like, whatever, you know, it's wood. It, it looks nice. So I put it together and then I'm like, okay, what am I going to put in here? I, I found a few of my action figures, my DeLoreans. You know, and, and the whole time I'm thinking all of this is subject uh, subject to change, right? If I want to move these over here, if I don't like these games anymore, if I find more games, I could always just move things around, right? And and that's that's the great. It's my space. I can do what I want with it. And that's what the great thing about having a man cave is that it's your space. It's, this is where you feel comfortable. This is where you come down, relax, play your video games, do your thing. Now... Obviously, I'd like to get more improvements. One day, we're aiming to get the, you know, the basement finished, and you know, I could actually have my area, and that would be great. But uh, you know, we just gotta wait and see. And but otherwise, I mean, I'm pretty comfortable with what this is. And um, so, yeah, and, and it's great. I think people like to look at other people's collections. They like to uh, they like to see their their space. They like to see what they do. And uh, yeah, it's it's just fun. It's great, and uh, I enjoy it. So. Uh, I hope you look forward to seeing some more episodes. Uh, I hope you subscribe to our channel. It's uh, we, we try to put up uh, as much content as we can. We have uh, our podcast. We just did a great podcast. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see you later. Bye.